Wake up, bake up, get your cake up. Wake up, bake up. Get hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to our channel. Today is Friday, September 11th. It is 10 p.m. and we are headed out to our road trip that we talked about. Um, we are about to leave, just filled up on some gas. Ozo's at home with Bella. Everything's good and Guys, can you guys guess where we're going? Honestly, do you guys have a clue? Or are you just as confused as I am? <laughs> I feel like nobody could guess where we're going. So, good luck, Charlie, if you, um, if you guess. But we're going to get started. We have a long road ahead of us. It is 10.39. So, hopefully we get there around 11. So, right now, we have planned that Jonathan's going to drive until he gets tired. And then I'll start driving. Pero a ver cómo nos va. Mi suegra packed us some burritos. We're so excited. And then also my my family does not know where we're going. So it's just a huge surprise. We're headed out and we will just update you throughout the, the road trip and tell you guys where we are, I guess. ¿Qué son los Marcos Hot Dogs? Oh my God. Who is this girl? <laughs> So as you guys saw, we have a new little addition to the family. Chai, no middle name yet, Flores. <laughs> so the, the reason we're doing a little format like this, guys, is uh because we didn't really... No se nos ocurrió vlog more, I guess, when you're in the moment. Like, we didn't shoot anything like putting gas and stuff like that, driving. So we're just gonna run you a little bit through what I, what happened. And also we didn't give a backstory, nothing like that. So you guys obviously already saw Chai. Um, we drove all the way to Missouri as well, but we didn't get her where we got Ozo. We got Ozo in Lebanon, Missouri, and we got Chai in Edina, Missouri, which is three hours and a half um, away from where we got Ozo. So let's just start from the very beginning, like why we decided to get a dog. Yes. Um, so it all started with Ozo. We picked Ozo up. Usually when you buy a puppy, you get it around eight, seven to nine weeks. Um, eight is prime. But we actually got Ozo almost 12 weeks, which is three months. So he, with that being said, he was still with his mom and he had another little brother. So I feel like that really, that separation at such an older age really got to him and he couldn't really get it over. He was always depressed. The only times he would be happy would be at her house with Rocky, her other dog, or like at the dog park. Seeing him get along with Rocky and then other dogs at the dog park, we figured he needed a sibling because he was alone all of the time yeah. and it was really depressing for us to see. Yeah guys, so we figured she's always busy, I'm always busy and like with winter coming up people don't really like going to the dog park and stuff like that and with rocky her dog her parents dog getting a little bit older como que ya no le gusta par tanto con rock uh, with ozo yeah. and he gets more frustrated and like kind of mean towards him so we're like okay he needs his own friend and stuff and yeah we're like okay let's get like a little female toca la girl and sure enough we found her and like she said really close to the town where we got ozo not the same breed or anything like that <laughs> with that being said come back to the video and we'll see you guys in a bit there's a turtle mr turtle on the road jonathan's gonna go save him first stop some random place it's so loud it's hot it's humid and chai was crying so we think she has to pee or poop so look at her So we just got some McDonald's and Chai is so curious. She wants to be in everything. Look, she won't even stay. 
Guys, she's the opposite of Ozo because Ozo and Dava Malillo, I think, when we got him. Oh, he had ticks. Yeah. But she's more active and more curious. I think that's just how girl dogs are. Yeah. Hi, girl. Oh, John. Guys, she's super fast. While they're exercising over there, I'm just eating McDonald's. She tells us that she gets really, really anxious and whiny because she has to go pee and poop. So she peed and now she's eating a little bit. And she's running away from us. Look, eat up, eat up, eat up, eat up. I love you guys. I love you guys, my amor. No, no, la camera. Say hi, my name is Chai and I'm the cutest girl ever. <laughs> she's so sad. She has the same eyes as Ozo. She smells like her hair smells like me when I get it dyed. Hmm? What if they dyed her hair black? Oh, I love you, girl. It's 6 15. We are in Nebraska. And we are in actually, we're at Nebraska Uni University. This is so cool. It's so, the vibes are immaculate here. Um, I stopped by at Pan Express. Jonathan had a McDonald's earlier and I didn't want any. So now I got hungry and I got Pan Express, just chow mein and an egg roll. Well, this is more onion than chow mein. But. I don't know if we can see them, but Jonathan took Chai to use the restroom. Guys, can you guess where we're at? We're in the University of Nebraska. We're gonna make a quick stop. Julissa's over there eating. I brought her here to pee. And now we're just playing. Guys, shout out to everyone that lives in Nebraska or or comes to school out here. Very beautiful campus. And then you guys got that downtown area over there. That's pretty lit. And then look at this cutie pie. Try. After this, we're just not gonna stop anymore. We have like six hours to go. So not too bad, but we're getting a little tired of being in the car and so is Chai. She's honestly completely different than Ozo was because Ozo was very like lazy and he napped the whole time and she's more active so it's we have to stop a little bit more frequently to let her go pee and to run with her and tire her out. Um, so we head out of Missouri right away just like last time with Ozo except this time we were I would say even more tired. Um, yeah. Because on Friday, the day that we left, Jonathan worked all day, got home, showered, and then we went to play a softball game. And then we came back and showered again, and then we left to Missouri. So he literally had no sleep. Before the game, I went to the gym oh, with yeah. my friends. And I hadn't hit the gym guys like good, good in a long time. And my friend, he goes to the gym every day. So he kicked my ass, and I was sore from my arms and my legs and whatnot. So. And then at the softball game, me pegaron con la pelota en la calf, my driving foot. So it was just a mess. But yeah, I was definitely more tired. So Jalissa here helped me drive way, way more than last time. Yeah, um, so it was nice. Honestly, the trip wasn't bad, but we were tired. Honestly, all we wanted was just to get home. Like we just wanted to make the trip really short. But obviously we did stop by so she could stretch, so she could eat, so she could play. Um, and it was so funny when we got her and started driving about like two hours in, I would say, she started getting really fidgety and like she wouldn't lay down or sleep. She would just like climb all over me, climb to hit the driver's side. And then we're like, she probably has to go to the restroom. And sure enough, we stopped. And she peed and pooped right away, which was so crazy. And then that's how it was the whole way home. She would get really fidgety, wake up from a nap, and would stop and she would poop and pee. Ozo was fantastic on the way back, but he still threw up once. And she did not throw up anything good. No. And the, the breeder told us, she's like, she is the only puppy that wasn't car sick. Like when we would go to the vet and back. Um, and she loved the car and she's very snuggly and sweet. She has a really extremely outgoing personality She does not care. She's an independent girl, honestly. 
All right, guys. Okay, she's a little crazy. She actually has to go pee, but it is 10.20 p.m. We are 148 miles away from home. We have two hours and 10 minutes left. I love you. Um, We just stopped to get gas. This is our last round of gas. Thank God we are almost home. She has to pee. I think she... Did you pee on me? No. She has to pee right now and poo probably. So we're going to put her out. Jonathan's just filling up the gas tank. She has slept for four hours um we're almost home but it's my turn to drive jonathan has drove for the last four hours i think how long have you been driving for four or five or six you're dumb so since nine <laughs> really yeah. the whole day huh oh shit well it's my turn to drive these two and a half hours because he needs to go to sleep and oh I tried to prepare to drive, but it didn't work out. Hi, baby. Did you go to the bathroom? I know. I know. Let's take you. Come here. Welcome to your new house. Good girl. I'm going to laugh if the first thing she does is pee. Who's your brother? Oh, Zoe. <laughs> he smells her on me already. <gasps> what is that smell? Really? <laughs> Look! Look, <laughs> Zoe! Who is that, Mister? Huh? Yeah, like Gozo. Um, how long? Six months. Who is that? I <laughs> Why is she so shy? Look at you. How's the soft as that ocean pill? Falling in. Learn to swim like I never. She's like, save me. Okay, so as you guys just saw, Chai met Ozo in the last clip, um, or Ozo met Chai. He was actually staying with his parents, um, so he was very, very quite excited. I feel like he didn't really understand what was going on. With that being said, we noticed personality differences right away. Ozo, as we said, Ozo was completely calm and very depressed, sad boy hours. And Chai was very outgoing, even though she was a little shy, because yeah. she would like kind of like put her tail between her feet, her legs when Ozo got too close. Um, but just completely like very energetic. Like literally Ozo would not leave her side at all when we first got him and Chai will be like all of a sudden we'll be like where, where the heck is she and she'll be downstairs minding her own business like she does not need us only to eat food. Yeah, she, although she does get it really sweet. Both on the bed she will like climb on and like kind of scratch at it. We'll put her on and she'll like fall asleep right next to us. Um, so she's a very independent but very sweet girl. <laughs> So we are now at Petco. We're obviously doing our routine. We're gonna come and see what her color is. So we're gonna get her a little harness and then, what else did we say? A bed? A bed. And bowls? Bowls. Holy shoes, we have to do it all again. Um, but look guys, she is so freaking, you can't even see her. <laughs> She's so tired. She got really tired out. Ozo is still not used to her. That's gonna be um, really hard. But yeah, we're gonna go into Peco and just go do a little shopping spree for this girl. Pero no tiene ganas, mira. She's locked out. <laughs> she was asleep until Jonathan got out of the car. Now she's like, what the heck? Where's my dad? All right, we're gonna try on some harnesses. 
this one? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you like that? No, not really. It looks tacky, no? What's that? Like, Savage Sophia. Oh, it has velvet? <laughs> this is hard. I guess it's harder for a girl. I would think. I, would, I didn't think it would be. Someone's not in the shopping mood. Come here, no <laughs> No, not the hair. Not the ear. Lisa Leve. <laughs> Do you like that one? I just feel like it must be so uncomfortable. So we actually came to PetSmart to see if there are more options, like harness options. Um, but if not, we'll probably just look online and get her something basic for now. I know we're making such a big deal, but she is a big deal. She's our new little baby that's very tired. So their options are much bigger. There's a much bigger selection. We found this cute little pink one. Or blue. Or this one, look. <laughs> the one with the tutu. Where? Where are you? Oh, they're so cute. We found a cute little bed. I feel like she's gonna outgrow it, but whatever. Yeah, but those one already hangs off of it. You don't even use it. <laughs> this is so cute. It's called the cuddler. We're just being basic parents and getting everything pink for the girl. Alright, we got a cart. <laughs> la cama en medio y la cha en el suelo. can I say she's a pro look at this se aguantó toda la noche para venir a hacer and then she already pooped over there she's just a really good girl With that being said, thank you guys so much for watching guys. We appreciate it. And yeah, that was our little journey. We decided to do this little voiceover just so you get a feel for what's going on. And we will actually go ahead and vlog more. I know after we uploaded Ozo's video, bringing him home, we didn't upload for three months. So you guys will see more daily vlogs and you will see her journey growing up and getting along with Ozo. Um, so we won't leave you in the dark this time. You will see a lot of her and Ozo on the channel because they are our complete life. La ven muy santita, pero está bien loca. She does whatever she wants. She's independent and her farts smell like oh, the worst thing ever, but 
we love her she's she's getting used to us and yeah i hope you guys liked this video let us know what your thoughts are about having two dogs pray for us in the comments if you have any tips yeah, if you have any tips and pray for us in the comments because we're really going through it right now. Um, I'm just trying to get on a schedule, but she's an angel, honestly. I think it's just trying to get Ozo used to her is getting really tough. Um, but other than that, that's it. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. We appreciate it. We'll see you on the next video. And yeah, thank you guys for the support. We love you. Oh, look at this big boy. Look, look. <laughs> We'll have a we'll have an intro video here soon with all the fam, but yep. for now this is our little family. You can tell I'm her dad and that's her mom porque yo estoy en peto. Este, but yeah, thank you guys for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.